Hello, and welcome to the last Lombardi Labs episode ever. Finally! I'm off to a safari, of sorts, to study conservation and animal behavior. Ha! You barely understand human behavior. And you're gonna need my help, my protection. So, when are we leaving? Ah, uh, sorry, Guinea, but uh, it's just me going. What? Where does that leave me? You're part of this lab. Look, I got a long-term sub taking over, and she's gonna need your help and your protection. Oh, will she at least bring calzones? Speaking of animal behavior, one of my students made some observations with his pet ducks. Eighth grader Brian noticed that his pet ducks, two mallards named Donald and Daisy, become more excited by certain foods over others. He has also observed that they seem to eat a bit faster when the food is immersed in water. But too many variables complicated things. What they eat and how much are obvious ones, but there's also time between meals and presentation. As far as speed, the closest comparable trial was involving birdseed, dry versus mixed with water. Yet this too proved to be challenging and imprecise. So we decided to test something else out. Duck decoys are used to attract ducks for duck hunters. How would these domesticated ducks respond to two mallard decoys, one male and one female? We set up several trials in different setups to find out. Trial one, male. Maybe curious, but ultimately ignored. Try a male duck decoy. See how they respond as they're being playful right now. One seems to be cautiously curious, but they eventually walk away. Ignored again. Couldn't care less. Now for a more aquatic setting. One cautiously checks it out and becomes very vocal about it. This time, he aggressively snaps at his head. Trial one, female. Much like the male first trial, no reaction. Same idea, but now we'll try female, if they even recognize. the first time they're drinking from it, but still ignoring. Too smart, they probably, ah, did you get that? This was the overall first time that they tapped at one. Taps again, but then focusing on drinking the water. Underneath the duck, and was like, What the hell is that? It looks like a bomb of a roller skate. Oh, good show. Yeah, it's back to not being interested. They both tap. But perhaps when they realize she's fake, they ignore her. We even tried two quick trials with duck sounds. But nothing came of it. Overall, these ducks seemed intimidated by the male decoy, either ignoring or confronting it. While the female decoy was less of a threat to them, they appeared more curious. In all, they seemingly lost interest once they discovered that the decoys weren't real ducks. 
Unrelated, I observed some interesting nibbling behavior. Is this their way of cuddling? What are you doing? Are they simply cleaning their bills? Oh. Or just looking for food? Did you find something? You found it? As with most experiments, more trials would be better. Also, remember, when it comes to pets, we could very well just be observing their behavior and not be representative of their whole species. Cause you know damn well I don't represent my- Hello? Is this Lombardi Labs? Room 173? Oh, hi! <laughs> you must be the long-term sub. Mr. Trina. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> it's a great pleasure. Uh, you can have so much fun. The lab is all yours. What about your little friend? Oh, Guinea the pig? <laughs> he stays with the lab. Uh, he could be a pain, but um, he'll look out for you. <sighs> Until next time. Where to begin? With me, Toots! Johnny's too busy.